Hello everyone, this is me again, Teacher R, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another math video tutorial. So, if bago ka pa lang sa akin channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be notified. So, for this video, I am going to discuss the domain and range of a rational equations. This topic is for grade 11 general mathematics. So, without any further ado, Let's learn another math topic. So, let's start! Okay, for this video, I am going to discuss the domain and range of rational equations. So, we have here an example. f of x is equal to 2x over x minus 5. So, in finding the domain of a rational equation, we need to make it sure that the denominator x minus 5 must not be equal to 0. Again, dapat yung denominator natin, hindi ito magiging 0. So, what value of x in the denominator that could make the denominator 0? So, we, have go we are going to equate. We have to focus on the denominator. Again, our denominator is x minus 5. x minus 5, tra equate it to 0. Then, x is equal to the sign of 5 here is negative. If you are going to transpose, it will become its opposite sign. So, negative 5, it will become positive 5. So, therefore, the value of x that can make the denominator 0 is 5. So, ano ibig sabihin ito? Ibig sabihin, lahat ng values na x ay element ng domain except kay 5. So, how are we going to write the domain? Therefore, our domain is x such that x are the elements of all real numbers except 5. Again, x such that x are the elements of real numbers in which x must not be equal to 5 or x or uh, except positive 5. Bakit hindi kasali si 5? Kasi nga, if you are going to substitute the value of 5 in the denominator, x minus 5, our x is 5, 5 minus 5, it will become 0. And if you are going to use the calculator, if you are going to divide a number by a 0, the calculator will say it's error. Kasi nga, hindi pwede. Hindi pwede mag-divide yung, yung number sa 0. Again, let me repeat. Our x here that could make the denominator 0 is 5. Therefore, ang domain natin, lahat ng real numbers except kay 5. Kasi nga, yung 5 ng value of x can make the denominator 0. So, our domain here is x such that x are the elements of real numbers except 5. Ibig sabihin, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 4, 3, 2, 1. Those are our values of x or those are our domains except kay 5. Okay, so now we are done finding the domain of this rational equation. The given is f of x is equal to 2x over x minus 5. So we have to proceed to the range. Again, let me repeat our first lesson in GenMath. When we say domain, is it is the first value of the set or the x. Range is for y. That is why we are using here x because x is for domain and y is for range. So, the first step, we need to proceed in finding the range of a rational equation. So, in finding the range of the rational equation, we have to focus, first step, we have to focus on the original equation. Again, our original equation is f of x is equal to 2x two, two over x minus 5. Our first step is we have, go, we have to change f of x to y. Again, change f of x into y. So, what will happen? Palitan lang natin sa f of x ng y. So again, do not, do not change anything from the equation. Just change f of x to y. So y is equal to 2x over x minus 5. That is the first step. The next, we are going to simplify. Again, kinakailangan dito yung basic knowledge nyo sa algebra. So our new equation is y is equal to 2x over x minus 5. Then we are going to cross multiply. Diba? So y, the, uh, there is an, uh, an imaginary one denominator there. So, we are going to cross-multiply. So, cross-multiply, yan. So, we are here, y times x minus 5 is equal to 2x. Again, cross-multiply, y times the quantity of x minus 5 is equal to 2x. The next, we have to distribute the y into x. So, x, y times x is 
x, y. Then y times negative 5 is negative 5y. Then copy 2x. Right after that, yan, ipagsama-sama na natin si x. Lahat ng values na may x. Again, ipagsama-sama natin lahat ng values na may x. So, x dito, may x, di kabila, may x naman. Itong si y, 5 by, wala siyang kasamang x. So, we are going to apply the rule of transposition. Sa transpose natin si 2x, anong sign ni 2x? Is positive. Lipat natin sa kabila, ito yung magiging negative. So, x, y, transpose natin si 2x, anong sign ni 2x? Positive. Lipat natin, ito yung magiging negative 2x. Again, that's the rule of transposition. At ito naman si negative 5y, ang sign ni negative 5y, of course, negative. So, we are going to transpose it. Lipat natin sa kabilang side. Anong, anong gagawin sa rule ng transposition? Change the sign. So, ang sign dito is negative. Ito yung magiging positive 5y. Again, ano nangyari? 2x transpose, nagiging negative 2x. Si negative 5y transpose, nilipat sa kabila, nagiging 5y. Si xy, wala tayong ginawa kay xy, so copy lang. So, bakit natin ginawa? Kasi si x at saka may x dito. Anong gagawin? Ilabas natin. Next step, ilabas natin si x. Ano yung x di? Ano yung uh, xy minus 2x? Ilabas natin si x. Ilabas natin si x. So, sinong naiwan? Si y at saka si negative 2. Copy 5y. Bakit? Kasi if we are going to distribute x times y, xy. x times negative 2, negative 2x. Ano ginagawa natin sa step na to? Nilabas natin si x. Nilabas natin si x. Okay? So, to find the value of x, to find the value of x, we are going to divide both sides by y minus 2. Divide both sides by y minus 2. Cancel. Y minus 2, cancel. So, anong naiwan? X is equal to 5y over y minus 2. So, this is now our equation for the range. Therefore, again, same step in finding the domain, what value of y Again, same with what we did in the domain, what value of y that could make the denominator zero? So, anong gagawin? Let's focus on the denominator. The denominator is y minus 2. So, equate it to zero. Transpose natin si negative 2. Lipat sa kabila ito magiging positive. So, y is equal to positive 2. Therefore, 2 is the value of y that can make the denominator zero. Kasi nga, y minus 2, substitute the value of y which is 2, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Again, same process with the domain. Therefore, the values of y, y are the elements of real numbers except kay 2. Bakit? Kasi, itong 2 na 2, it can make the denominator 0. Same process you got with the, dom with the domain. Again, our y here is y such that y are the elements of real numbers except 2. Again, let me repeat. Ibig sabihin, yung values natin kay range, ito yung range natin. Bakit range? Kasi nga, range is for y, domain is for x. So, lahat ng values ni y are all real numbers except kay 2. Kasi, itong 2 na to, it can make the denominator 0. So, that is how we are going to find the domain and range of a rational function. Okay, so for better understanding of the lesson, we have another example of finding the domain and range of a rational equations. Again, this is another example of domain and range of rational equations. Our given equation is f of x is equal to x over minus 2 over x plus 3. Again, a given example, f of x is equal to x minus 2 all over x plus 3. Again, yung first step na gagawin natin, finding the domain. In finding the domain, dapat yung denominator is not equal to 0. The denominator must not be equal to 0. So, what value of x in the denominator, x plus 3, that can make the denominator 0? So, anong gagawin natin? Equate it to 0. Again, we have to focus on the denominator. So, x plus 3 equals 0. We have to equate it to 0. So, transpose. Anong sign ni positive 3 dito? 
ni 3, positive. So, uh, pag ilipat natin, rule of transposition, change its sign to its opposite sign. So, x is equal to negative 3. Therefore, the value of x that can make the denominator 0 is negative 3. So, yung domain natin? Therefore, our domain is x such that x are the elements of all real numbers except negative 3. Again, our domain is x such that x are the elements of real numbers except negative 3 or x must not be equal to 3. Bakit hindi kabilang si 3? Negative 3? Because this negative 3 can make the denominator 0. If we're going to substitute it, x plus 3, denominator, our x here is negative 3. Substitute the value of x. So negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. Again, negative 3 can make the denominator 0. So our domain is x such that x are the elements of real numbers except negative 3. Ibig sabihin, values na x dito sa domain natin, lahat ng real numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, ano, negative 5, negative 4, negative 2, negative 1, except negative 3. Again, let me emphasize, hindi kabilang si negative 3 because negative 3 can make the denominator 0. And we cannot divide a number by Zero because it is undefined or in calculator it will say math error. So our domain is x x such that x are the elements of real numbers except negative three. Okay, let's proceed to finding the range of the rational equation. Ano yung gagawin natin in finding the range? First step, change f of x into y. Palitan natin si f of x into y and do not change anything from the equation. So, change f of x. f of x ito magiging y is equal to x minus 2 all over x plus 3. Anong ginawa natin sa step na to in finding the range? Change f of x into y. Palitan natin si f of x into y and do not change anything from the equation. x minus 2 over x plus 3. Then, cross multiplication. Cross multiplication. Multiply natin si y to x plus 3. So, cross multiply, we have y times the quantity of x plus 3. Sa kabila, any number multiplied by 1 is equal to the number itself. Example, example, 10 times 1 is 10. 5 times 1 is 5. 8 times 1 is 8. So, x minus 2 times 1 is x minus 2. Again, what we did in this part is we only apply the cross multiplication. So, y times x plus 3 times is equal to x minus 2. Then, we are going to distribute y. Distribute y. So, y times x, this is xy. Pwede naman y, x, but in the role of mathematics, we are going to apply the law of alphabet. So, pwede naman siyang y, x, pero sa alphabet, nauna si x. So, to make it in order, x, y. So again, y times x is xy. Then y times positive 3 is positive 3y. Sa kabila, wala tayong ginala, wala tayong ginawa sa kabila. So just simply copy x minus 2. Again, what we did in this part, we apply the distributive property. So y times x is xy. y times positive 3 is positive 3y. Then the other side, x minus 2. Wala tayong ginawa, so we simply copy. So next, we are going to join the terms na may x. Okay, saan, saan dito yung mga terms na may x? So meaning si x, y, at saka si x. Si negative 2, wala siyang x, at saka si 3, wala siyang x. So same in what we did in our previous example, we are going to combine, we are going to join the terms na may x. So transpose natin, we need to apply the rule of transposition again. So, transpose natin si x, ilipat natin sa kabila para magkasama sila ni x at y na may x. So, ito naman si 3y, wala siyang x, so lipat din natin sa kabila para hindi siya makapag disturbo sa relasyon na xy at saka ni x. Again, we have to apply the rule of transposition. So, copy natin si xy because hindi natin pwedeng galawin si xy. So, anong sign ni x dito? The sign of x here is positive x. So, transpose, lipat sa kabila, ito'y magiging negative x is equal to 
Ito naman, si positive 3y. Anong sign ni positive 3y? Yes, positive. So, transpose natin sa kabila. Ilipat natin sa kabila. Ito'y magiging negative 3y. Si negative 2, ginilaw ba natin? Wala. Hindi natin ginilaw si negative 2. So, simply copy negative 2. Kapag wala kang ginawa sa isang term, just simply copy. Do not change. Itong si x natin, nagiging negative kasi nga, inapply natin yung rule of transposition. From positive x, nilipat sa kabila, nagiging negative x. Si positive 3y, from positive 3y, nilipat sa kabila, tinatranspose, nagiging negative 3y. Then, what will happen next? Same process with the previous example, labas natin si x. Ilabas natin si x. So, labas si x, sinong naiwan? Si y at saka si negative 1. Bakit may 1? Kasi nga, in any number, may imaginary 1 siya dito nakasama. But we don't need to write that 1. Kasi it's already understood na may 1 na coefficient yung x na yan. So, bakit? If you are going to distribute x times y, xy, x times negative 1, negative x, or negative 1x. But in the rule of math, we don't need to write 1. But it is understandable na kapag alone nang yung variable, may 1 siya na coefficient. Okay? Ano ginawa natin dito? Nilabas natin si x. So, sinong naiwan? Si y at saka si negative 1. Because if you are going to check it, x times y, xy. x times negative 1, negative x. Sa kabila, may ginawa ba tayo? Wala. Wala tayong ginalaw. So, simply copy 3y minus 2. Next, to find the value of x, find the value of x, Para maiwan si x, divide both sides by y minus 1. Divide both sides by y minus 1. Divide both sides by y minus 1 para maiwan si x. So therefore, cancel y minus 1. Sinong naiwan? So we have our equation for the range is x is equal to negative 3y minus 2 all over y minus 1. So, this is now our equation for the range. But we are not done because we are going to find the range of rational equation. Yung ginawa natin, kinuha pa natin yung equation ni range. So, same process with the domain. Anong equation, what value of y in the denominator that can make the denominator zero? So, anong gagawin? Equate it to zero. We have to focus on the denominator. Our denominator is y minus 1. Equate it to zero. So, y, negative 1, transpose sa kabila, magiging positive 1. Therefore, our value of 1 can make the denominator y minus 1, 0. Because we are going to substitute y minus 1. Substitute y, which is 1. Palitan natin si y, magiging 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, our range is y such that y are the elements of real numbers except 1 because 1 can make the denominator 0 again this is our range our range is y such that y are the elements of real numbers except negative uh, except 1 or y must not be equal to 1 not equal as you can see the symbol is not equal one. Our range in this example, x such that x are the elements of real numbers in uh, except negative 3. Because negative 3 can make the denominator 0. And our range is y such that y are the elements of real numbers except positive 1. So this is how we are going to find the domain and range of rational equations. We have here last example of domain and range of rational equations. Okay, so our last example is f of x is equal to x plus 4 all over 3x plus 6. Okay, so let's start. Ano yung first step natin? We need to find, we need to make it sure that the denominator is not equal to 0. So find the value of x in, in the denominator that can make the denominator 0. So we have to focus on the denominator. Our denominator is 3x plus 6. We have to equate it to 0. So same process with the previous examples. Transpose positive 6, it will become negative 6. So 3x is equal to negative 6. Kasi negative 6 plus 0 is equal to negative 6. 
So find the value of x. We have to divide both sides by 3. Divide both sides by 3. Cancel 3. So the remaining is x. The negative 6 divided by 3 is 2. Negative 2. Negative 6, negative divided by positive is negative. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. So again, negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Therefore, the value of x in the denominator that can make it 0 is negative 2. Let's try to check if the denominator is 0 if the value of x is negative 2. Apply checking. So, 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. So, ano yung x natin? Substitute the value of x which is negative 2. Copy 3. X natin, palitan natin ni negative 2. Plus 6 is equal to 0. So, 3 times negative 2. Positive times negative is negative. So, negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Therefore, the value of x that can make the denominator 0 is negative 2. So, our domain... Ano yung domain natin? So, our domain is x such that x are the elements of all real numbers except negative 2. Again, bakit hindi kabilang si negative 2? x is not equal to negative 2 because negative 2 can make the denominator 0. So, our domain is x such that x are the elements of real numbers Except negative 2. So, uh, that's our domain. So, let's proceed to the range. So, same process with the previous example. The first step in finding the range, we have to change f of x into y or refla replace f of x into y. So, our original equation is f of x is equal to x plus 4 all over 3x plus 6. So, replace f of x to y, so it will become y is equal to x plus 4 all over 3x plus 6. Yan. Replace f of x to y. So next, up, uh, apply the cross multiplication. Apply the cross multiplication. So y times the quantity of 3x plus 6 is equal to x plus 4. Again, apply the cross multiplication. y times the quantity of 3x plus 6, y times 3x plus 6 is equal to x plus 4. So in y here, we have an imaginary denominator of 1. So x plus 4 times 1 is x plus 4. The next, we have to apply the distributive property. We have to distribute y. So y times 3x is 3xy. And y times positive 6 is positive 6y. In this part, in this side, wala tayong ginalang, wala tayong ginawa, so we have to simply copy x plus 4. Again, ano yung ginawa natin sa part na to? We apply the distributive property. y times 3x is 3xy, then y times 6 is positive 6y, then copy x plus 4. So what will happen next? We have to apply the rule of transposition. Ipagsama-sama natin yung mga terms na may x. Kapag walang x, lipat sa kabila. So, apply the rule of transposition. So, sino may x dito? Si 3xy, tsaka si 2 si x. Si 6y, walang x, so lipat natin sa kabila. Ang x na to, lipat natin dito sa kabila. Okay? So, 3xy, wala tayong ginalaw kay 3xy. xy, simply copy. So, the rule of transposition, transpose. Transpose natin si x. Ano yung sign ni x dito? Positive. Therefore, lipat natin sa kabila. Transpose natin. Ito ay magiging negative x. Then, sa kabila naman, positive 6y, transpose, o lipat sa kabila, ito yung magiging negative 6y. Copy, positive 4. Wala tayong ginawa kay positive 4, so simply copy, positive 4. Again, let me repeat, anong ginawa natin sa part na to? We apply the rule of transposition. x, from positive x, transpose, nagiging negative x. From positive 6y, transpose, nagiging negative 6y. So, next, we have to apply the common monomial factor. Anong common nila? X. So, labas natin si X. Labas si X, sinong naiwan? 3Y at saka si negative 1. Bakit may negative 1? Kasi sa variable na negative X, it has an imaginary coefficient na 1. Because if you are going to multiply X times negative 1, the result is negative X. If you are going to multiply X times 3Y, the result is 
3xy. So, we only apply the common monomial factor. Sa kabila, wala pa yung ginalaw. Simply copy, negative 6y plus 4. The next, solve or find the value of x. So, we, have, we are going to divide both sides by 3y minus 1. Divide both sides by 3y minus 1. So, cancel 3y minus 1, cancel 3y minus 1. So, our equation for the range is x is equal to negative 6y plus 4 over 3y minus 1. So, this is now our equation for the range. But we are not yet done yet. So, because we are going to find the range. So, in finding the range, again, we have to focus on the denominator. We need to make it sure that denominator must not be equal to 0. So, ano yung value ni y that can make the denominator 0? So, equate a to 0. So, ano yung gagawin? Transpose negative 1, 3y. Transpose negative 1 from negative, it will become positive. So, positive 1. So, divide both sides by 3. Divide both sides by 3. So, y is equal to 1 third. So, you have to check. You have to check if um, the value of y in 3y minus 1, which, the value of y which is 1 third can make the denominator 0. You have to check 3y minus 1. Check lang or verify lang natin. So, 3 times, anong y natin? 1 third minus 1. So, 3 times 1. Numerator to numerator, 3 over 3 minus 1. 3 divided by 3, 1 minus 1, and is equal to 0. Therefore, the value of y that can make the denominator 0 is 1 third. So, our range is range natin. Y such that y are the elements of all real numbers except 1 third. Bakit hindi kasali si 1 third? Because 1 third can make the denominator 3y minus 1, 0. So, this is our range. Our range is y such that y are the elements of real numbers in which y is not equal to 1 third. And our domain is x. x such that x are the elements of real, all real numbers except negative 2 because negative 2 can make the domain a denominator of the domain 0 and that ends our topic for this video the domain and range of rational equations